You're off. Screaming now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is good to be streaming. It is good to be here in the morning. It is new week. A a new day. Well, not a new week. It's not a new week yet, but it feels new. Everything feels a little new. Um, relax your mind. Is here. I have a sub button now. Yes. Oh my goodness, welcome. It is so good to see you. It has been so long. Um, indeed, I have a sub button. And indeed, it is good to see you here. 
Yeah, um, uh, if you had come a couple of streams ago, I was actually working off of a DSLR camera that I happen to have now, so the picture has been a lot nicer, but the cord has been a little messed up. Full Killer, good to see you. Um, it is good to be here in the morning. Um, it will be a shorter stream this morning because I have a lot to do. Well, it might not be necessarily a shorter stream, but um, I have I have a lot of... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to take the quests for poems today because I have a lot of com I have commission that I've got to retype as well as uh, Christmas poems that I want to finalize for tonight. Ah! Started these Christmas poems last week. Yeah. Um, oh, you've been caught up a lot, relaxing mind. That's good. Not on the mornings as much as I'd like to be. Well, it's, it's an early show, and I, I definitely, uh, I still keep thinking about whether I could change the time, put it in a different time frame, but, like, I don't know. It's just something about needing to get this started right at the beginning of the morning that just gets me going, energizes me. But the poetry readings have been really going well. Um, yeah, mornings are good for the channel. I, I definitely agree. Um, as I continue to kind of, like, figure that all out. And, and, you know, I've been marketing a little more to other writers. And the writers have been on here. And we've been chatting up more. So it's been a good community. And I'm really glad to that it's it's stuck and it's been sustain, sustaining. Um, thank goodness for two-day shipping on that camera cord. Yes, except for the fact that because I'm a, a real cheapskate... Um, cheapskate, cheap, cheap, I'm, a, I'm really cheap with things. I, I do the free five to seven day shipping. Um, I'm patient about those things. So I'm very happy with the weight to, on the camera cord, except of course, if something happens where I absolutely need it. Um, just goes to show that consistency is key to this, says Relax Your Mind. And yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, I, I'm just really, I'm really glad to be here again. This consistency helps with my life so much, and it makes things, it really helps anchor. And believe it or not, I get most of my work done during these streams. That's the craziest thing, I think, of all the things, is that, like, I don't do a lot of writing outside of the streams. <laughs> I get that energy. I need that energy. I need people energy to be, to be, to be productive. Recently in my life, I've been, I've done some things where I haven't been productive outside of, like, streaming. I think that, like, it just helps to have that presence, that accountability. Um, yeah. So, we are going to read one more poem from The Poetry of Strangers. I've been highlighting Brian Sonia Wallace's work. Uh, another street poet, amazing poet. Uh, we've read some poems about, um, uh, you know, youth and politics and um, traveling and journeying. And today's poem is entitled Snapshots. So let me get this down. He places this poem near the end of the book. Um, I like it because it's, it's it encapsulates a lot of the themes about what we're trying to do in capturing street poetry and capturing personalized poems and um, in trying to go for that. And um, I love it. Uh, and we'll get back to the chat after I read the poem. So once again, continuing with our series of poets, and, to, and on, on Monday, we take off Saturdays. On Monday, we will be starting with Emily Dickinson. I haven't even gotten together what poems of hers I'm going to read yet, so i got to do that. I might just search, I might just Google weird Emily Dickinson poems and try to find some of her zany work. This is Snapshots. At least I've titled it Snapshots, since he doesn't give his poems titles in the book. Snapshots in time. Dusty Polaroids forgotten between the pages of books with cracked spines. Corrupted digital files, and when California burns, who can say what images will escape the ash heap of history? 
We never wanted fancy shots, just a few with eyes open, a few with good friends, a few we will not admit to sighing over. We who know the limits of memory, we aren't kids anymore. We don't do it for the photo op. But when the images come back, we can't help feeling seen in new ways. Can't escape the gift the camera gives. A generosity of moments that won't stop unfolding. So I am thinking about that, about those last lines, um, at least in terms of how sometimes my poetry must be like um, a, a, a picture of some sorts. Like, I think that's what he's, that's the reason why he placed this here. Um, that there's something that people do enjoy, and I'm not trying to build it up what I'm doing, but there's something that people do enjoy about um, having themselves or family members or loved ones or moments or themes that they chose caught in the artistic moment. Like I think commission work is highly, highly underrated because there's a power to it. Um, I had a portrait of myself done not like a portrait it was like a, um, somebody that does um, digital art was said oh I'll do I'll do personal uh, commissions and so she uh, did I'm not going to show it right now because I can't bring up the computer screen for whatever reason right now but she did one of me and I was exhilarated like I was absolutely like like totally into it because she took it in this whole interesting direction. She got my feedback from it. There, and, and I'm placed in there. Um, and it's almost like she was managed to take a part of my soul and take it out. It was like, hey, here you go. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, look at that. Um, you put that on the paper. Um, or actually in the, in the, in the file in this, in this instance. So I hope I give people that feeling. I hope it brings them joy. So relax your mind, uh, just getting back to the chat. Uh, it says, his morning routine has been going well, and if I could work and stream at the same time, I'd be one happy camper. <laughs> if I could work and watch streams at the same time, that would be fantastic. Um, I managed to get a really good groove with the um, Akira the Dawn DJ stream, the one whose music I have forgotten to turn back on now. Let's get that music back in here. Um, I have gotten into a good flow with his streams, but everybody else's, whenever I try to check out writers, like, I mean, I got so much to do that it's so hard for me to be there and like present to it. And so, but like, I try to do my best and I, I chat and support and, you know, toss some bits around and just try to be um, a good presence in the writing community. So uh, if we have any Twitch writers on here, um, shout yourselves out. Um, I would recommend follows to any of the Twitch writers if you happen to be lurking or anything like that. Cynical Chills here, throw in um, Octopi in the chat. I, I need to, I have a, a typewriter emoji that I still haven't put into the channel, like a real one, like not just a, you know, like a like the, the little icon thing that we created, um, or the emoticon that we created. I have an actual typewriter emoji and it's just been on the back burner of not written down to do. Let's get some writing done. So, the OG viewers are here. I like this. Cynical chill, relax your mind. You got a good crew in here. I'm sorry that today is just like, it was, today is a day that like, I've got so much going on, but it's so good to have you guys, have you guys here. Alex5k, yeah, where is he? If you've got two out of the three, where is the third? We do have another Alex in here, probably. I don't know if Twitchy or Alex is lurking, but we have another Alex that has been a, a regular friend of the channel. Struggle me, fungus! That's a throwback. 
Scrungle Bee Fungus. For people that don't know Scrungle Bee Fungus, the reason why Relax Your Mind and Cynical Chill are um, beloved members of the channel is because, um, actually, let me make sure that I'm getting my stats right. So, it, I don't know. It, it, so I see you, 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 yeah, Cynical Chill, you subscribe, but it doesn't show me the, the subscription. Ah, we have a spam in the chat. Want to become famous by followers, primes, and views? No, I will not. I will not purchase people. We've concluded um, another, another one of the viewers, Twitchy or Alex and I, have concluded that what they're doing there is they're basically trying to advertise slavery. <laughs> By, by attempting to buy followers, primes, and views. Um, anyway, yes. So the story behind Scrungle Bee Fungus, for those that do not know, is the um, Relax Your Mind, Cynical Chill, and Alex 5K came on here um, mm -hmm. pretending, uh, basically, we're, we're inventing stories. And they were they were punking me, and I, I just went along with the ride. Um, I won't claim to know that they were punking me, though. Um, I wrote a poem about donkeys because one of them said that they were from <laughs> Afghanistan and had a donkey farm or something like that. And uh, but, but the first poem I wrote for them was um, somebody said, hey, my favorite childhood meal is scrungle beef fungus. It means a lot. I want you to write a poem about it. And it's somewhere. It's in one of these folders. Um, and it was about the, the joy of scrungle beef fungus, which they thought they had invented out of their own imagination, but it's actually a real thing. Scrungle Bee Fungus, I Googled it, because I Googled it, because like I actually use Google for my advantage for the poems. I Googled it, and Scrungle Bee Fungus is basically just um, the, uh, um, uh, like a mushroom beef, uh, like soupy mess. And it's good, it's good, it's really good, um, apparently, according to the people that I was reading about it. So yeah, such great memories. It was a lot of fun. Um, so this is a poem for a speechwriter. I started typing it on the stream a few days ago, and I am going to finish it now. I feel about the backslash in a poem. I just used it. Well, it's a test.
How much room do I have left on the sheet of paper is the question I now ask. I think I have a lot of room. All right. It's, I attempting, I'm attempting to create a new stanza, and it may backfire on me. I do not have time to rewrite this poem. <laughs> As always, uh, the music playing in the background is Akira the Dawn. He just released a bunch of new instrumentals, actually. Why don't we bump those? I mean, I love this song, too. But these instrumentals are going to blow your mind. They're the newest stuff he's got. He's got. It's really good. They're really, really good. He's been he's prioritizing instrumentals a little more. And I think a little bit in part because people like me have been using them a lot. Um, yeah, this one is gonna blow your mind. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta feature these a little more. Is it not playing? Hello? Oh, it's not playing because I hit the wrong thing. All right, here we go. Why don't we bring this up? Yeah, this is fire. Especially because it's going to take me a minute to figure out exactly how I want to finish this.
This is written for my Poetic Collective, the at Typewriter Poets. Oh, we were deemed a hydrate. And I frantically look around and I do not see anything to hydrate with. I have failed. Oh, goodness gracious me. Um, yeah, I can't. You, you redeem the hydrate. And I can't hydrate. We actually have, for a little while, set up a doggo camp. I could, I, I could, I could hydrate with rubbing alcohol. I could tell you I have all my, my typewriter cleaning supplies here, but I don't think I'd recommend that. Oh, goodness. And I don't have a way to put the, the stream on pause while I go get myself some more. So we will just have to settle, unfortunately, with a lack of hydrating. I want to thank you, Cynical Chill, for reminding me to hydrate, though. Because I am thirsty. I hope you've enjoyed the first song on the album. This is entitled Catalyst. It's about creating your own culture. And um, this kind of goes really well with this poem. So we're going to bring down the music. This is speech power for a speechwriter who eventually will write his own things. Speak on the shoulders of giants. Help take tall concepts, grand ideas lumbering above and capture them. Ten point double space sound bites across the listening ear. You are mining their myriad ways for your own quartz catalyst, for your own story of the storyteller. This magic transcends matter. We could burn all the paper and it would not darken our syllabic language love. Continue to gather your wild words, idea silos full of synthesis. We are the crowd in the darkened wings waiting the choice of your voice. Speech power. We've got 15 minutes left in the stream. I have Christmas poems I'm littering my desk. Just separating my old drafts to new drafts. The Snow Days one looks pretty good, but all these are going to need to be retyped. I'm going to be working on them um, uh, a lot. Twitcher Alex says... Upgrading my internet was one of the worst decisions I've made in a while. Good morning. And I missed our time for call yesterday. I haven't even checked my Discord. So yesterday just got away from me. Frankly, I didn't have a, a good day yesterday. And things weren't good mentally for me. Um, but what happened with your internet, Twitcher Alex? What, what, is, what, what crisis has now appeared as a result of your internet upgrades? I need as I'm sorry to hear that you have internet issues. This, this call that you and I are eventually going to have, Twitcher Alex, is like the, the long-awaited... It, it feels like the Joseph Campbell album. Like, like it, the more that it doesn't happen, the, the more energy builds up around it. So this is a pretty, I, I, I lack a better word, a powerful poem about um, about a the new year 
and the Christmas star. This is what, um, this is actually, this, what I'm retyping here is one of the, the Christmas poems I did recently. Um, <laughs> Full Killer says that call is your guys' white whale. Indeed it is, indeed it is. It, the poem I wrote, uh, I don't know if it was yesterday, goodness, I'm yawning on the stream. Yesterday or a few days ago, that was a very complicated uh, Christmas poem, is actually going to probably retain a lot of its original structure. Um, it's now built around um, the countdown to the newborn year. So newborn year is kind of the amalgamation between the new year and the newborn child of Christmas. Relax your mind, so good to see you. Yeah, try to pop in every once in a while. Uh, not all mornings are as like like focused in on this, but um, there will definitely be um, more opportunities for requests and shenanigans. So I encourage uh, uh, shenanigans. Oh goodness gracious, Twitter Alex says, so about that internet, right? Died on me again after saying that. Couldn't even hear what you said. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Um, I was I was apologizing to your Alex for our, our our missing me missing on the call yesterday um, because I was I didn't even go on Discord or anything after about nine thirty my day kind of got away from me um, uh, it's been bothering me in ways but it's something I'm not gonna talk about at the moment but um, uh, Fool Killer has uh, chatted that you know this call is our white whale. And that it basically our call is kind of starting to feel like the Joseph Campbell album. <laughs> Enjoy your day, relax your mind. Thanks for checking in. With this Garbo internet. I love that. <laughs> well, I, I hope your internet holds for poetry, and I hope it holds for the uh, Akira streams. I'll tell you, the, the I just hate having to reload the page all the time on Twitch and then not seeing 
um, chats. Like if I leave or like I leave the app for Twitch, I miss chats. People could be chatting me. It's like, oh, what's going on? come from the air. I love this album. So this is the uh, Mas Meaning Wave Masterpiece's true album for anybody that is interested. Except this is just the instrumentals. The songs with the words are very high tier. inventing a lot of words in these poems. I just invented the word heroic, um, which may not be a word that's actually been invented. It might have already been there. Heroic being of Herod, which in this is a very ominous thing. I heard a, um, a musician say last night on the mall, he said, we're going to church now. <laughs> So one of the things I do actually love hearing is sometimes when Akira creates these instrumentals, he'll forget to take a lyric or two out. Like there's a Jocko song where like he left in one word that Jocko said, like if you're just listening and then Jocko goes, don't, and it disappears. So I wonder if there's anything like that in this.
Alex5k jumps in. Congrats on the sub button. That's it. We've had we had the trio. All came in at certain points. Cynical Chill, you and uh, Relax Your Mind came in. Thank you so much. Scrunglebee Fungus. Yes. I feel like that I, I have to read Scrunglebee Fungus at the end of this, regardless at this point. It's a, it's the, it's really such a great poem to, that that marks the stream. So these are all my Twitch poems in here. I don't know why I have a big scribble on it, but it's definitely tucked in here somewhere. I never throw out any of the poems that I write on here, and some of the poems still await to eventually be reunited with their owners. Some of the poems I write on here. I later on um, frame and are able to sell. But not Scrungle Bee Fungus. No, no, no. Yeah, it used to be up there, but now uh, what's up on the wall is a, a big long receipt poem. Things that I now do. I found it, Alex 5K. And yeah, actually, it still, still says to Alex 5K. This was back in July. Wow. Where did the time go? It's December now. It's still streaming. Feels like yesterday, it does. Let me get this Christmas poem done. See, that fool killer is just it's just dropping in here with the with the amazing original ideas um that is i think that that is honestly one of the coolest ideas i've seen and i promise i won't steal it instead i'm cool killer I, you gotta make that poem that's gotta be really good that would be hilarious actually um also because hashes and 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 censored words would work in a similar way to someone jokingly censoring a clip from a show or something like that like i think that i've been on youtube and it's like a, a joke clip and what it'll be it will be uh like a normal conversation between two people but they'll put the um the bleep sounds the right spots to make it look like that they're totally swearing all the time um possibly having talking about something inappropriate so it would be funny oh man that's gonna be that's gonna be really cool when 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 that happens I, I'm already saying it's gonna gotta happen because that's that's one of the best ideas for poetry I've seen in a long time. As of late, I've been relying on the rhyming dictionary a lot, and I don't know why. Good to see you again, relax your mind. Thanks so much for popping in. Yeah, the edits on this are pretty horrific. This 
poem is, is definitely way better than it was the first time around. I need to end this poem. I the all of the ending I originally had my wife uh, very much does not like. So I'm trying something different. Originally I was gonna count down, but she said it sounded pretentious. I don't have an ending other than the one that I had, which is to count down. It should count down if it's a newborn year. Or when you're trapped with something, you just gotta make it work without pretension. Alright? And it seems like I'm frustrated pulling that paper out of my hand. Because this poem can frustrate me a little bit. It's powerful. This is the newborn year. Tinsel on trees, counting the seconds to January. I wish, I wish joy, elation, bliss fulfilling our existence. 
I hear the lessons of our ancestors calling from the winter wind. The Noel I wish to dwell is inside. I must find my perspective. Between presents, make a choice to see the star guiding my way among a million heroic constellations. I wish, I wish for all the world to find their light before myself. So much easier to point and say, look, out there between the mountains of anxiety and the ponds of panic, there it shines, your star inside. When the sun sets early, you can chart a course to your newborn salvation waiting inside the soul's crutch. But what, what of mine? I wish, I wish to see my joy. I recall a priest once speaking of Advent as a cleaning, interior intervening so there is a weaving of room. For the child on high, that the child on high may enter my heart. For I am buried, eyelids full of planks and splinters, stumbling shepherdless in orbits twilight and seeking the star. The long journey of wise men to find the divine insight tucked inside. I'm going to read that again. Orbis twilight and seeking the star, the long journey of wise men to find the divine insight tucked where all gold does lay, beyond worth, maybe only seconds away. Every year, the resolutions, is it fulfillment or self-superstition? They are counting, another opportunity coming, five, four, three, two, one. Newborn year. I think that worked. I had to change one word. I literally got so mad at myself for using the line, the divine light, divine insight tucked inside, because that's so repetitious. Like, I just I just had to, like, stop myself. Be like, wait a second. All righty. We are here. And we're going to end on Squungle Bee Fungus. So I don't know if the Relax Your Mind Outside K group is still here. I know that we had to kind of pour through that poem to get to this point, but if you are, we can celebrate. But for those that are here, you may not have heard this before. It seems to be kind of our reoccurring um, uh, celebratory poem for the stream. Um, Scrungle Bee Fungus, a comical poem about uh, mushrooms. Um, Fool Killer said, I wrote the poem. It could be better, but I think it's clever. Well, you rhymed right there in the chat, so good job for you. And I think that's great. I think it's a start. Um, I mean, I, hey, my first drafts are sometimes real crap. <laughs> so, hey, it's a start. Um, I think that's really great that you wrote that. That's awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I really hope I could read it. It's up to you, though, if you want to show it to anybody. That's your work. It's your art. Grounded is the name of this poem about scrunkle bee fungus. The very aroma of home and its table, plenty with memories of mother's cooking, father's snoring, and sibling rivalring. To the table, the mystery mushroom majesty arrives. Scrungle bee fungus, creamy ooze delight that brightens with every soothing bite. These round caps and cowbacks take us back to the herd of heart. A childhood home, one spoonful at a time. I feel like it's every couple of months I just got to read that poem to remind me how all this began. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, for being part of the stream today. It was good to be here. Writing was fun. Interacting with the chat was fun. Having people re uh, uh, reappear. Fool Kill asks, where can I share the poem with you? I'm going to give you my email. There we go. That should work. You can email it there, um, and if you if you want, if you have any questions, let me know. Send it over, and I can make comments, anything like that. Otherwise, thank you all for being here. We do not have enough people left in the view count for me to do a raid, but that's all right. Um, it ebbs and flows throughout the time that we're here. I definitely um, have been enjoying raiding people over this past week. It's been really great to have a crowd here. 
Tomorrow we have off. No Poetry Studio on Sunday. Sunday is a day of rest. Monday we will be back, and we will be reading Emily Dickinson and trying to finish up commissions before Christmas. Thank you all.